a family's vacation to a luxurious rental home takes a dark turn when a cyber attack disables their devices. The film starts with Amanda Sanford, who is a loner by nature. One day, she decides to surprise her family with an impromptu getaway to a rented house in Long Island. Her husband, Clay, is a professor. When he wakes up, Amanda springs the vacation plan on him, and he can't say no since everything is already booked. We also get a glimpse of Amanda's somewhat angry and sassy personality, which is a result of her job that requires constant interaction with people, a job she now despises. They embark on a trip to a place called Leave the World Behind, accompanied by their tech-obsessed kids, Rose and Archie, who can never seem to agree on anything. Meanwhile, Rose, who has been binge-watching Friends, is frustrated when she can't watch the last episode. Upon arriving at the house, they take a tour and notice a shelf that Clay tries to open, but Amanda stops him, saying it's off-limits. Later, while Amanda is grocery shopping, she sees a man loading supplies into his car. She returns home and surprises Clay with a pack of cigarettes, since she knows he enjoys smoking in secret. She gives him 15 minutes to indulge before they head to the beach. They soon realize there is no cell signal at the house. At the beach, Rose spots an approaching oil tanker, but no one pays it much attention. As time passes, the tanker gets closer, prompting Amanda to wake Clay. They hastily pack their things and prepare to leave, just as the boat washes ashore. Disturbed, they return to the house, only to find their children seemingly unfazed as they play in the pool. Amanda spots a deer, which Clay assures her is a good omen. They also discover that their TV and Wi-Fi are not working. Later that night, while the kids are asleep, Scott and his daughter Ruth arrive at the house. Initially hesitant, George explains to Amanda that he is the person she has been corresponding with for the rental bookings and that it is his house. Eventually, Clay invites them in, and George explains that a citywide blackout brought them to Long Island. Amanda remains suspicious and attempts to contact the rental company after George offers a 50% refund and suggests they stay in the basement. Ruth confidently asserts that it is their house. It becomes clear that George has the keys to the restricted shelf Clay had tried to open earlier. Amanda privately discusses her concerns with Clay, who mentions the keys and suggests that their house may actually be the safest place for them given the blackout in the city. He agrees to let them stay. George and Ruth, descending into the basement of their own home afterwards, which is quite an impressive basement, isn't it? Ruth switches on the television, and they discover a national emergency unfolding. In the morning, Rose wakes up her mother, explaining that she can't finish watching the final episode of her favorite show and pleading for her mother to fix the malfunctioning TV. Amanda notices a few emails on her phone mentioning hackers responsible for a massive power outage and a blackout along the coast of the United States. Alarmed, she wakes up Clay. To their surprise, the emails disappear after a previously off-course satellite comes into view. Frustrated by the still-broken TV, Rose storms outside and comes across a herd of deer. Clay decides to drive to town in search of answers, while Ruth converses with Amanda. George emerges from the house, and Amanda informs him about the vanished emails she received earlier that morning. It dawns on Ruth that her mother was scheduled to fly back to Long Island that morning making her worry with no means of contacting her to cancel the flight. Seeking answers, George heads over to their neighbor's house. Meanwhile, Clay is driving and realizes all the radio stations have gone silent. George arrives at his neighbor's house to find it in ruins, and Rose tries to tell her brother Archie about what she saw that morning, but he dismisses her, more focused on photographing Ruth by the pool. Fueled by curiosity, Rose ventures into the woods, with Archie reluctantly following. Clay, still lost, encounters a woman speaking rapidly in Spanish. Unable to communicate, he moves on. George searches the neighbor's house but finds nothing, and as he begins to leave, he stumbles upon bodies in the backyard. As tension rises, Archie and Rose unwittingly find themselves in an eerie place. Meanwhile, Clay agonizingly leaves the Spanish-speaking woman behind, unable to understand her pleas for help. George discovers the lifeless bodies while Clay encounters a drone dropping pamphlets, causing him to panic and drive away. George witnesses planes crashing into the ocean, and in a terrifying turn of events, one crashes onto the beach, prompting his hasty retreat. Meanwhile, as Archie and Rose explore a nearby shed, Archie gets bitten by a bug, and Rose spots another deer. However, Archie's distraction prevents him from seeing it. When the deer flees, Rose notices a house and moves towards it, but Archie insists they go back. George returns to Amanda and shares a disturbing experience from his line of work, 
speculating that the satellite's deviation caused the loss of connection. He also recounts witnessing a plane crash into the ocean, instilling fear in both of them. Soon after, they hear distant explosions, causing Amanda to remember her children. Suddenly, a piercing noise overwhelms them all, prompting Amanda to run into the woods in search of her kids as they cover their ears. The story continues. Clay has still not returned when they arrive back at the house. Amanda's agitation and rudeness persist, prompting George to urge her to remain calm and wait for Clay to share his findings once he returns. Ruth confronts Amanda, who continues to yell at her father, demanding answers. However, George intervenes and prevents his daughter from being disrespectful. Later, Amanda informs George about the man she spotted at the supermarket, packing essential supplies in his car trunk, as if aware of an imminent event. George confirms that he is acquainted with the individual Amanda is referring to. Eventually, Clay returns and confesses that he did not acquire anything, but instead got lost and miraculously found his way back. Later, he shows them a leaflet that had fallen from a drone, with Arabic writing on it. Archie translates the text, revealing the alarming declaration, Death to America. Filled with fear, the Sanfords make the decision to drive to the city. Despite George's concerns regarding safety, his daughter insists that they proceed. On their journey, Amanda hopes to encounter traffic to engage with people, but instead, they encounter chaos on the highway as self-driving cars collide with one another. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, Amanda instructs Clay to return to the vehicle as she takes the wheel amidst the pandemonium. Later, George is surprised when he opens the door and finds them standing on his property. During the night, George confides in Amanda, sharing his suspicion of a government conspiracy. Initially drawn to him, Amanda's feelings change after George recounts another disturbing tale involving the government. She informs him that she no longer has feelings for him. However, George is determined to win her back. They share a dance, growing closer, but remain faithful to their spouses. Meanwhile, Ruth invites Clay to vape with her and begins asking provocative questions about his relationships with students. Clay is left speechless. Later, they witness flamingos landing in their pool. Returning to George and Amanda, he expresses to her the longing he feels for his wife. Subsequently, another strange noise disrupts their peace, accompanied by a power outage. While Amanda and her family stick together, Rose shares a story of a man who waited for divine intervention to save him. Frustrated, Rose voices her impatience, stating that she cannot wait any longer, as she needs to finish watching the final episode of Friends. In the basement, Ruth accuses her father of not protecting her from Clay's advances and questions why he allowed them back into their lives. They also discuss Ruth's mother, presumed to be deceased. The following morning, Rose goes missing. Amanda notices that Archie's teeth are falling out, causing concern. George reveals that he knows someone who is always prepared for situations like this and suggests seeking assistance for the man Amanda encountered at the supermarket. He takes Clay and Archie to meet Danny for possible medication. After an intense standoff, Danny agrees to help Archie in exchange for money. As they prepare to leave in the car, George confides in Clay, disclosing his understanding of the unfolding events. He reveals that a political coup d'etat is underway, causing those in power to allow a civil war to ensue by disrupting technology and spreading misinformation. While searching for Rose, Amanda rescues Ruth from an aggressive deer attack. In the aftermath, they witness the bombing of New York City. Meanwhile, it is revealed that Rose had entered a neighboring residence equipped with an underground bunker. The bunker is equipped with everything necessary for surviving doomsday, including an EAS interceptor that alerts about an ongoing attack and the country being at war. Afterward, she enters the living room where she discovers a television and comes across a DVD of Friends. Ultimately, she decides to watch the final episode of the series. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, kindly consider liking and subscribing to our channel for similar content. Feel free to share your thoughts on the film in the comments section. See you in the next video. Goodbye for now.